So when I came home, Don told me to leave Ruby outside. He did the California duster on her. He's wiping off the wheels. We used the little Rain-X uh, window cleaner to get the brake dust off. And uh, then he's gonna put the black uh, stuff on the wheels, the tire black on the wheels too. Johnny's putting on the finishing touches. Say hello to Fat Pat. All right. Why have one snowman when you can have two? We have Mister that we built first, and this one as well. This one could be me. Crazy <laughs> penguin lady. Yeah, crazy penguin lady. Her penguins are down here. Apparently existing Tesla owners that waited in line in Raleigh have uh, the ability to configure their Model 3. He thinks he's going to drive off in Michelle's car. <laughs> he's got the bug to drive. He's got the bug to drive, guys. Happy birthday, dear Donnie. Yeah, baby. Happy birthday to you. I love you and many more. Thank you, sweetie. Hugs. <laughs> Did you get them? Time to meet Michelle. It's Tuesday. and I are pulled over here still in the guardian angel parking lot and we've got up the uh, video feed for uh, the Falcon Heavy launch. I mean this is history right everybody should stop and uh, watch this. No pressure to back up straight or anything. Right. There's Ruby over there charging. Will it work? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, wow. I'd call that cherry. We got us a original Roadster, a red Model 3, a red S, and a sweet red X. Whew. How exciting. Check it out. Original Roadster, a brand spanking new red Model 3, beautiful Model S, and of course, Ruby down here on the end, Model X. It doesn't get any sweeter than that. See how nice the blue parks next to the red? Blue and red, it kind of made to go together. The red and the white go together. No, 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 no. See how the blue and the red? I want a blue three to go with our red X. Is this going on the block? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Die hard Tesla fans even in the rain. <laughs> Seeing people get in the car for the first time and look up at the uh, sky is always just an awesome experience. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, wait while I take a picture, you know, before I could move my vehicle. Yes, exactly. <laughs> So we're up here this morning and we've been treated to breakfast. Really yummy stuff. And uh, they just pulled this Model 3 into the bay. Last week I said it was a black wrap, but actually it's a clear matte wrap on top of a black car. Yeah, it's way cool. I just love Tesla events where we get to see all these awesome cars. I'll show you shirt, stick it on out there. <laughs> yes. So uh, these two threes are mother and son. The father has an S. So we're back over at the supercharger and the wind is horrible. 
there's people in the northeast are having that nor'easter now i feel so bad for them and uh we have another person that showed up chrissy so we're just gonna stay parked here and go try to find a place to eat i don't need to charge so ruby's not plugged in johnny's already wishing on uh christmas and halloween so he can put up his new inflatables the two mice on the left and this cute little chick bunny rabbit. They were in my bag. Michelle knows I love Amazon. So Johnny, you had told me you have benchmarks this week. What were you, uh, did you have one of them today? Yes, it was an ELA in the afternoon. So it took a couple hours, a couple of periods in length. Mm -hmm. How do you think it went? I think I did pretty good on it. I'm sure you did. So what's the schedule for the rest of the week on the benchmarks? Tomorrow's math. We don't we don't have one Wednesday unless electives do one. And on on Thursday we have science, and on Friday we have social studies. Johnny's in here working diligently on his homework. Poor kid. turning out to be a really pretty sunset. It's not every Sunday you wake up and uh, find out that Elon Musk is gonna have a live stream. Hey, tell me when. Now. Master, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I'm making her walk in the rain and she's giving me grief. <laughs> He talked to me about Reluctance Motors at 5.40 this morning before I had my coffee. All right, now, I did not <laughs> mention Reluctance Motors. I mentioned Reluctance <laughs> this morning. Same thing. Yeah, not quite. You want right here? I should move. <laughs> Just how excited are you? Um, excited to dash around the world for a million times. <laughs> He's yeah. pretty excited. I'm so excited for him. Passengers are reminded that the area in front of the terminal is for loading and unloading only. Unattended vehicles that was almost like automatic door opening there. That's right. <laughs> hey, Donnie. Hey, pretty girl. Y'all sad. Your you boy's on his way to Italy. Did you tag your jobs? Ooh, they gonna see a cute little thing like him. Ooh, they gonna be so pleased to see that little. He does have that dark hair. Yeah, he's gonna get on good. So I've got that new autopilot update on and I know you guys are going to want to be seeing how good it does for me today. So here goes nothing. You got you a good view from there. Yeah. Sun's hit me just right. Nice and warm. In fact, it's getting a little warm. Angela! So, uh, WRAL frequently reports EV news, and I would say they do a pretty fair job. 
and uh, so somebody here is a fan, we think, at Capital Broadcast Company, and they have these uh, four posts for charge point, which is, I guess, eight charging um, available. When we come, we also always take pictures by this nice eagle sculpture. Every year, she was here yesterday skiing the tulips. Mm -hmm. She says she'll be back in a few weeks to see the azaleas, which will be in full bloom over the next couple of weeks. Did she tiptoe through this? Did she lie down? I would not be surprised. But... Don's got an appointment this morning and uh, he's um, headed with me uh, to drop the boys off at school and then taken one for the team again so we can go check out the azaleas at the WRAL Azalea Garden. That was a surprise to me but I heard him telling uh, Johnny that that was what we were up to this morning. That's cool. We're killing a little time. We have an appointment at 9 and we had a little time. We're up in RTP and we just fought all that RTP traffic that we don't have to do because we don't have to come to RTP very often. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. That's right. So while we were up here and killing time, I said, hey, PlugShare says there's a fast charger out of Sheets. And so we drove over to the Sheets. This is the first uh, fast charger we've seen now. Johnny's moves too. Good job, bud. Here's the group of what are we? What are we? We are Team Pokemon. Team Mystic. Oh, Team Pistic. Uh, Mystic. Uh, oh, that's Shiny Marines. No. <laughs> Smile, be happy. Really? It's fixing to start in three, two. I don't know. <laughs> Well, the dentist today, she was really fast. Yeah, she got you in and out, and the henna hygienist, the helper, she was really nice too. So how you doing, buddy? Better. Let me see those teeth, give me a big teethy smile. <laughs> That's some heavy book bag you got there, bud. Yep, well, because of my computer. Yeah, all right, let's go. You lead the way. Well, I have a minor situation this morning. I forgot to plug Ruby in last night, and Don asked me one time if I'd plugged her in, and I said, yeah, I think so, and I meant to double check in the app, and I did. All right, I'm here at the uh, Raleigh North Hills Mall uh, area supercharger. There's one uh, red Model S down there charging. I've been here 10 minutes, and I've put in 55 miles. You know, really, I could get up to about 150 and leave, but um, I'm just sitting here listening to my book, looking at my mail. Uh, I'll probably let it get close to the 80% charge. We'll see. Hey, Donnie. Hey, pretty girl. You practicing? Johnny thought it was a torture device. No, no, not quite. <laughs> it's a workout, though. But he's practicing without the strap today, which is harder. Right. I don't have the learning strap on it anymore. It's uh, So what that means is I have to control my starts so it doesn't go flying off because I can't just hold on to the strap and snatch it back. The same thing on my dismounts when I stop. I don't have the strap to hold it upright so I've got to stop smoothly and then uh, either control it with my foot or grab the handle with my hand one or the other. 
All right, so like Don said, he's out here practicing uh, getting on and off without uh, the strap. Good job. Mr. Don is trying to dash between a couple Nerf darts. There are Nerf darts right there. He's trying to go through them. Yeah, Adam Electric B36 Longboard. Da -da 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 -da. Oh wow, way cool, look at that. Well, we knew it was big. I mean, that's the whole, supposed to be easier to ride when it's longer. Has a nice handle where you can carry it like Don's doing. It's all grip tape on the top. Yeah, well that's my flexible flyer skateboard I had when I was a kid. Had all that sandpaper kind of stuff on it. All right, here's my box from B&H Camera Equipment. And here's my GoPro and the few uh, accessories I ordered. GoPro 5 Black. Um, handlebar. Um bike kind of mounts and uh, a um, chest strap. So we're parked up here obviously at the uh, Meow Plantation parking lot and uh, we're getting ready to head down the trail. Donnie is uh, amazing people with his unicycle, people that are not used to seeing him. This is so much fun. Yeah. Back the way we came, Dawn's at 50%. Yeah, it stops, you can't break it. Yeah, at the end is not a good thing, he said. And we're off. Unfortunately, it starts downhill. Girl, she's little. Nervous. Surfer girl. Hey. Surfer girl. Here she goes. Right. She's got her board. There she goes. You go, girl. Ah, we're back. Yeah. It was uh, 2.3 miles, so they said, in each direction. Yeah. And uh, I guess it took us about two hours. Yeah. Don's the fastest. We know he's the fastest. That's he right. did good weight on the rest of us slow yeah. pokes, though. Johnny is uh, glad to be back and get some water. Yeah. I would do it again, but I think I'd want to start on the other side. Right. And maybe just end up over here. <laughs> yeah. All right, we were uh, headed over to Whole Foods from Johnny's school, and um, Johnny noticed the low tire pressure indicator come on at 32 pounds. And um, I exited off of, I was in a really bad place, um, was watching to see if it was falling rapidly. And uh, I guess in about less than a mile, it went down to 29. So something's definitely wrong with that left rear tire. And I'm going to try to call Don now. I'm just glad to be in a safe parking uh, parking lot now. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to cry and I'm going to be a big girl. I've talked to Don. I'm going to call Tesla Roadside Assistance. I guess I've picked up a nail. I don't know how that happened riding down the interstate. The tire's hissing. It's already down to 22 PSI. There's no driving anywhere from here. And uh, let's see what Tesla can do for me. So at the Peterbilt tow truck and Jonathan is talking to Jonathan about the truck. Johnny was really interested. They share the same official name and uh, he's given Johnny a quick tour while the tire airs up a bit. That's nice of him. I like people who are nice to polite kids. All right, they're on their way with Ruby up to the service center. Hopefully this is our one and only towing experience. Yeah. It's the first one in your lifetime and hopefully it's the last one uh, with mom. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 
Well, you know, if you got to be towed, that's how you want it to go. So there's a view you don't see too often in my car. We've got the uh, third row seats up. I am meeting a fellow Tesla owner at the North Hill Supercharger this morning. Uh, he owns a Model S and he's going to get a Model X. And uh, he wanted to see the six-seater configuration with center console before he decided uh, which configuration to choose. So I'm going to let him check out Ruby. <laughs> she uses what's your video editor? We video. Web yeah, it's a web browser. We V I D E O. Yeah. Five yeah. nine on yeah. the left. Uh, Six foot. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I don't think the center console has a lot to do with the comfort level back there, no, one way or no, the other. Yeah. Um, but it's good, you know. Occasionally, we rarely have to have more than. A few. Did you get your own Ruby? Yeah. My goodness, look at that. That is so awesome. I'm sure you can change the way it's going. Uh-huh. Wow. Turn the wheel. Are you a pro driver now? Huh? And yes. And it has. I'm already Are you finding anything, girl? Oh, uh, well, kind of. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, yeah. I think you need that for the next Diva meetup. Yep, yep I do. Get me a yep, I do. I like it. <laughs> Come on, kids. We're going back to the future. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Not sure about Hi, I'm Don Missy. Yeah, I'm Don Missy. Are y'all in, Ariel? Uh, yep. Have a good night. <laughs> It's cooler when both sides open at the same time. <laughs> oh, how are you kids today? Obviously, we're running late. Other than the fact that she's totally clean, what am I supposed to love about Ruby this morning? You'll notice. You'll notice. Is it a good thing? Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing wrong, sweetheart. You'll figure it out. You're a good girl. You're smart as they come. All right. I love, I love you. you. Well, it's going to be much better. If I tell you, it'll spoil it. Okay. When if, when you figure it out, you'll be driving along and say, ah. Oh. All right. I love you. I love you too. Kiss, 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 kiss. What I was supposed to figure out is that I didn't plug in last night. And that's really not so great this morning because I'm supposed to go to North Raleigh to the chiropractor, which means I will have to stop and supercharge. Yeah. So are you making sure I don't forget? It's not gonna let me forget tonight, huh? Yeah, we'll be, we're gonna plug into now, and then we'll be all set. Thank you. This is a spring-free trampoline, one word, and the gentleman is set up talking to people about it being safe. And <laughs> Johnny's out of breath, and he's only been in there a couple minutes. <laughs> oh, well, hey, Lenny. Hi, John. Hey, Adrian. Hey, hey, John. All right, so this robot closest to me here, the one on the right, um, when it backs up off the white line, it shouldn't turn so much now. Let's see if that helps. One, two, three, sumo. I think you're going to be there on time today or early, Johnny. 
off the early. Yeah, usually if we make this light by 723, we know we're golden. I bet this mural is finished uh, by the end of the week or certainly by the end of the weekend. I've stopped here at the Garden Hut in Fuquay to check out their pretty flowers. They always do an awesome job with the selection, variety, color. It's beautiful here. Just following the daily progress, also watching on Instagram. There are some uh, marble ball sculptures on the ground in there too, and she's also painting them in matching colors. He is out. His little mouth is open and everything. Wow, look at the tulips they have here. They are so pretty. Michelle and I are checking out the local Pokemon Go action, and we're here. My second birthday, Mother's Day out meal. Yeah. What'd you find? Uh, cordless vacuum that uses Ryobi batteries. You're kidding, really? I want to use this. Oh wow, are you going to help me, Johnny, if it doesn't have a cord? <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> it's a funny couch. It's not even comfy. It's not a couch for a boy. Well, I think the whole idea is you're on your side. It's still not comfy. Just lounging, <laughs> trying to look pretty. <laughs> or in your case, handsome. Just to prove that a few times a year, Don does come into Guardian Angel with me. He usually looks at books. All right, I'm really proud of the boys today. They, uh, Good sportsmanship, good uh, quality with their robots, and uh, good uh, competition. Johnny was here today. He would have been so thrilled to meet the Rangers and ask questions. And what, this button? This is the coolest thing. And then make it go the other way. Like a catnip for boys. Go, Donnie, go! Go, Donnie, go! <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I got my first good look at the hawk babies this morning. Mom or dad just flew into the nest with some food. The hawks are in the nest a long time. This cable in one hand is not possible. So Don needed both hands to re-secure the box to the tree, so he has himself strapped to the tree slash ladder. I sure will be glad when he's down from up there. Hey Donnie! You got Ruby all nice and clean. Yep. Johnny said you were out here with the entire detail kit. Yeah, well, you know, it's been uh, like almost two weeks since we've washed her. Yeah, well, we've gotten lucky on the rain. Yep. yep. Well, Michelle and I will appreciate the uh, pretty clean ride today. That's right. You pretty girls, enjoy yourselves. We will, I'm sure. Good morning, Ruby. Good job, bud. And so they sent over the awards, and this award goes to Johnny Goldman. Have a good day. You too. 7.30, just in the nick of time. Too bad. We're not sure if we're gonna shop or we're just gonna sit out here on the patio and rock. Oh, I need lemonade. <laughs> spiked spiked lemonade. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to talk about it and it's killing me. 
But we have this very delicate and awesome item that Michelle bought in the frunk. It's that delicate and special. It's good. It's its own personal riding spot. Should we let him out for food? <laughs> That's counting. It's not a person. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, mom. Do you know what this feels like? What? It's like such a weird school day. Yeah, it does. Like we, like maybe a two-hour delay without a backpack. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, this road was made for autopilot. So Johnny pointed out right away that we have ludicrous mode. Uh, we are in life, the universe, and everything. Um, looks like a... Um, I don't know. I'm trying to... I didn't pay too much attention when we got in, but it's a P90D. And uh, it's a silver Model X. It is a six-seater uh, without the center console. I was a little disappointed that we weren't in an S, but mm, it's still cool to be in a new X every once in a while. Right. Any good Tesla, any Tesla loaner is a good loaner. I like the perforated seats, mainly because of the AC part of them. Yeah, it's nice and would it be would it be convenient for after Taekwondo when you come into the car all yes. sweaty? Yeah. So you know if you come up here you gotta drive back behind the service area and see what you can see. It's just part of the pleasure of coming up, right? Yeah, there's a red three. Also a blue three of it. Yep, and a blue three. And a gray one. Yep, and a gray, uh, midnight silver is what that color is, and, and black, black and, white. and a white. Wow. So there's quite a few threes hiding back here. What's that, Johnny? It's a card. Oh, isn't that sweet? That is nice. Nice extra touch. And they also left us a second um, key fob battery for Dawn's uh, key fob. All right, I'm not sure. Uh, this is kind of like a boy in a candy store. It's just electronic candy. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So tell me about this. <laughs> tell me about this computer you've talked me into. So it's like an, it's an i7-8700K. Um, it's got um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, I believe. Yeah. Um, and it's got, and it's got a, a 1080 yeah. GTX card, 1080. not a 1060, and not a 1070, but a 1080. Somewhere. And it's gonna cost us. Don't talk about price. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> a lot. It's a deal. It's a deal, though. Right. It's cheaper than the Alienware. It's cheaper than the Origin Neuron, and it's got more stuff. Yeah, it's a big purchase, though. I'm stressing more about this than I was about the Tesla. So this is the box we're getting, an iBuy Power Trace 941. There's no monitor or keyboard up here that makes sense to show you, but uh, yeah, this is the box. Pretty cool. It's a big box, but it fit between the two seats perfectly. So to be clear, this is an early birthday present. And me and Mr. Don recognizing that Johnny did spend hours working hard on school this year. And with the understanding that we will be doing things not computer related this summer, although there will be plenty of times for computer stuff. but there's another team that's inflated their balloon, kind of entertaining the crowd a little bit. Are the black balloons so that they can test? Yes. Oh, it's going all the way up, yay, balloon! That's great. It's 739. I guess this guy is determined he's he's going. Ladies and gentlemen, just to keep drawing, putting up the standard for us tonight. 
Yeah, I do not believe he is tethered. I think he is really going. Yeah, I think they're going. Um, above the field, the pilots were going to do an all, all burn for him as we salute to uh, the town of Fuqua Marina, our host community. One last flight from Ken Ron. It's a meeting of the minds over here. Computer gaming, autonomous driving, all of that good fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So a lot of other people had the same idea for a rainy Memorial Day. So, so Johnny and I got here with a little bit of time to spare. And of course, we could have gotten even here even later if we would have drove Ruber because they have like front row parking places for electric vehicles. But no, I had to drive the GMC. They even have a nice Model 3 here. Johnny and I are, so Johnny and I are enjoying our uh, apple spice box lunch. He's got a turkey avocado, and I've got a club. Yum yum. So Johnny got his official first degree black belt certificate from Kukiwan today. He's now uh, official. He's ready for Olympic sparring and form, right, Johnny? I don't think about the Olympic sparring, but maybe form. This is his mom. You have not been out to bestow brushing on me yet. Where are you? Look. And Johnny has a swim play date today with a friend over at um, Buffalo Aquatic Center. He's very excited to have a day of swimming and to see some of his friends from school. All right, Johnny's ready to go. And Ruby's running. I guess uh, cabin overheat protection on this uh, 90 plus day is uh, keeping the car cool. So Johnny has a brand new Tesla shirt. It's the Tesla Roadster, the brand new one, zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds, baby. And it's green. Don Miller car wash philosophy. Uh, do I use the soap cannon? Do I do a two bucket method? Do I do a bucket of microfiber towels? Use a microfiber towel once, uh, screen, no screen, all that stuff. So I'm still formulating that, and there's lots of videos out there. But one thing that I have sort of settled on is the in-between car wash routine for Ruby. Now, uh, I have um, used the California car duster. Now, I know people are going to absolutely, you know, have a heart attack right now. There's two camps. There's two camps. Do not use, but I can tell you, I've used some Ruby's almost a year, and I have used this several times per week, let's say twice to three times a week, for a year now, and I will buy for you to find a scratch anywhere on the car. And if you find a scratch on the car, I defy you to say it was caused by the California Duster. So Ariel, how are those seats all the way at the back? Really comfy. Are you got enough air back there? That's good air conditioning. Good. Glad to hear it. You can press it anytime you're ready. Everyone is clear. <laughs> I love kids. That's so cool. Good job, Connor. Huh? 
Oh wow, that red over there, Don's right on that X is not our red. Huh. It could be wrapped. It could be wrapped. Johnny is correct. That's true too. It's probably what it is. Wow. Check that out. That's pretty cool. I'm getting ready to go to town and Don's out here inspecting the bug situation after yesterday's road trip. Yeah, we're gonna have to wash them. Yeah, Don had sprayed some silicone spray on the front of the car, which hopefully means the bugs will come off easier. Yeah, I think they will. But this is not something to California duster and other, you know, this is gonna yeah. require yeah, a real. Yeah, see the silicone kind of Keep it from sticking. It's sort of like a non-spray cooking spray. Uh, it, it's not cooking spray. Right. It's really silicone. It's actually designed Did to be... Did you touch bug guts? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, I'm not old dirty towel. I know you are. But, but yeah, I think we're just going to have to wash her. Yeah, but um, you can feel the surface. Is, it, I don't want to call it... Well, I can tell looking at the top of the hood here that it's dull, no, and that's yeah. because you've got the silo. We've done this before, and it just comes just right here. Yeah, it comes off. It's fine. So we're here at the rose garden. Welcome to the Wilson Rose Garden. Stop and smell the roses. I did look on Facebook before we headed this way just to make sure that there were roses blooming and. Um, I was able to tell that there were. So we were thinking about the small wet dry vac or the cordless pole trimmer and they don't have the batteries. I wore my green road and will be colored shirt just for this purpose. Yeah, they don't have any of the two battery kits left. They don't have any of the wet dry vacs. And um, yeah, so we're sort of uh, no go here. My girl, she's talented. She's playing two devices, two devices and fighting a cougar. Kyogre. Kyogre. Looks like you're holding up a dead mouse. He's a dead fob. <laughs> Don says the battery's not bad. He he put his meter on it. Right. I mean, it, first of all, the the fob has been acting up uh, for a while. So Johnny. Hi. And I are headed to camp. There's Johnny. You have fun, buddy. Look for Mama when you come around, okay? As long as he's having fun. Yeah, it's a parking. Parking. Okay. You can force the high beams, but. Yeah, we passed. <laughs> yeah, very, very thorough safety inspection. <laughs> All right, here comes Donnie. I know he is glad to be done with the 5K. Go, Donnie, go! Go, Donnie, go! There's Janet over there cheering him on, too. Yay, Donnie! So ever since the last time I let him drive the van, he's been begging to go for a drive again. I brought him over here to uh, Fleming Road Park where the... Um, where the hot air balloon festival was and uh, it's basically a field with some dirt slash gravel road and he can drive around over here and stay out of trouble. It wasn't a good time for the G7X battery to die but yes put it in reverse and turn us again. So one of the things you have to get used to is which way to turn the wheel based on which way you want the back to go of the car to go. So if you're turning to the right, the back of the back of the car goes to the right. Okay, so come to a gentle stop. Now please pull forward back where we were, turning to the right one more time. This is good practice for you, putting it in and out of gear, going slow. Okay, stop gently. 
I told him unless I scream stop, I want all stops to be gentle. Now when you reverse, turn the cut the wheel the other way. So whichever way you turn the wheel, the back of the car moves in that direction. So turn the wheel to the left this time while you give it some acceleration. You're fine. I'm watching. Okay. There you go. Now gently stop us, please. You did good. I want you to pull in so we can go around the other way, but you've gotten some practice at backing up and turning, okay? Parking maneuvers, basically. So Johnny's home from camp, and uh, he's excited to see that the Tesla Mobile Service is in our very own driveway. Yes. All right, Rick's got us all fixed up. Key fobs are working. Uh, so Don will be happy. Ruby will not have for forsaken him anymore. We are all set. And um, we're good to go. Hey, Donnie, I'm home. Yeah, my hot girl is home. With, you know how hot she is? It's like 97 out there. That's I, how hot. I didn't film us out on the asphalt bringing in the groceries because it's just that too hot. hot. <laughs> yeah. All right, Don's a happy camper. He's got what he came for and a couple things more. I just got me a little dolly. Well, there are a couple of storage bins for Legos that he's holding too. Yeah, the, Every time I come, I buy storage bins, yeah, the, <laughs> parts the, bins. The um, strap was only 10 bucks, but somehow I spent 45 in there. <laughs> it's not my fault. Don turn around and come back. I could not leave Spencer without getting this picture. You get up underneath you can read the names of the car without having to look at each specific car and that makes it a little easier except for this display goes all the way down to the floor for the few plants that I've carried home I like to put them here in the middle row it's nice and tall there and they won't fall over you're plugging in for me tonight buddy yep. all right good job yep. Well, today's the day, sweet pea. It is, really? That's right. Are you sure? Yep. Well, there's Mama Bluebird with her nesting materials. She actually sees me and is waiting for me to leave, so 
I'll admire her for a minute or two and then go back in the house. <laughs>